It is late fall and it is now time for me to bring this whole wheat project around full circle and plant my field crop. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm actually going to um, sort of thresh the wheat seed and get the hulls separated from the seed kernels themselves. Okay, so what we have here is just a uh, like a, an aluminum pan and uh, this is just like a kneeling pad from the garden and here's some of my vinatka. All I'm going to do is with a gloved hand, I'm just going to rub one of these at a time like this. Now see that? There is your seed, okay? So I'm just going to keep doing this. I'm going to keep rubbing these seeds and kind of breaking them apart and getting that seed out. And then I'm going to uh, winnow it, which is to kind of blow it up in the breeze, let it flow, and kind of get that chaff away. And the thing that I like about this um, kneeling pad here is that it's kind of soft, and it sort of gives you an opportunity to really break that up without damaging too much. And you literally just keep moving it all around. Get them all threshed. So this is the threshing process, and next is winnowing. When you're done, simply take another one of equal size and pour the uh, chaff off. See how the chaff is leaving? You sort of need a little bit of a breeze to do this, but you're trying to get that chaff to blow away. And once you do that, just do it again. Just keep going until it's really clean. Okay, here's the result. Here's what you're after. Is this. And that's not perfectly free of, of chaff, but it certainly will work for planting. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do the emer next. This is the banatka. And then I'm going to plant out some rows. All right, this is it. This is the last step. We're now putting this wheat into the ground that we grew last year for seed. So uh, what I'm doing is, uh, this is a little tedious, but I'm doing this every eight inches or so uh, and eight inch rows. So the rows will be eight inches apart and we'll do several rows here uh, all the way down the way there. This will be a very wide row of wheat and then we're gonna do another wide row there and one more there. This is my uh, vegetable garden that's completely cleared now and ready for wheat. So this will all be wheat next year. Uh, the two different varieties, Banatka and Emer. And so once we do that and we get a crop, then we can start uh, threshing it and making things like homemade bread or feeding it to chickens or whatever we want to do with it. So very exciting. Last thing that I want to talk about here is just the importance of protecting those seeds once they're first sown. And I have not found a better product than this. This is called Bird Scare Tape. I've used this in other videos. And uh, whenever you've got something that you've just planted, believe me, there are birds and crows that are watching right now that are just can't wait to get in there. And um, this is a fabulous deterrent. Uh, you want to string it with a little bit of a bow to it so that it really moves in the, in the wind and flashes. It's red and silver, and it just really confuses the birds and uh, frightens them. So highly recommend this whenever you're planting anything like a grain or something like that that uh, really needs protection. Good night, little seeds.